Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to take another look at this Ronson Master Case so that I can list it for sale on eBay. It does show scuffs, paint loss, wear, dings. You can see there where the hinge or clasp rattles just a little bit when there's nothing in there. When it is holding cigarettes inside of it, it does not rattle as much. You can see there that it does work very well. And one of the reasons that I am deciding to list it for sale now is because I ran across an old beat up Ronson Adonis the other day with very similar engraving, the FSK instead of just the SK initials. So I have decided to sell them as a set or as companion pieces. There is also a box for the master case. I'm not an expert on dating Ronson lighters and I'm certainly not an expert in determining which box goes with which lighter. But this is a box that is labeled master case and it fits the master case that came in it. You can see where some of the printing has worn off. You can see where the corners all have taken on some kind of damage or another but overall the box is in pretty good condition it has the pouch here it is labeled with a little metal tag there on the bottom of the box where the master case is intended to lie when it is positioned in the box I don't know if that would have come with it in the bag and then also in the box or if the bag was just in the box but that will come with this listing this nice enameled initialed SK in the monogram panel and then this very worn Ronson Adonis automatic petrol lighter that has the initials FSK so perhaps someone with the last name K or last name starting in K and then they have their significant other who has similar initials and the Adonis is very well worn you can see where the plating I would say is missing from at least 50 percent of the lighter some of the etching it seems to have worn right through even this lighter has been heavily used but it still works extremely well. A Ronson Adonis is a lighter that you can fill up with fuel. It has a pretty large fuel capacity and is very efficient in its fuel use as well with the way that it is a closed tank system and the snuffer actually closes down around the wick so you don't have a lot of excessive evaporation like you do with Zippos and other insert style lighters. This is a lighter with a lot of character. It has been put through its paces. It has been used. The master case on the other hand, while it is not brand new, it is in very good condition. You can see the engine turning there on the inside of the case. It doesn't appear to have been excessively used. There's not a whole lot of wear on the inside. The cigarette keepers still have plenty of tension in the spring, so they hold very nicely. I had about three cigarettes in each side of it the other day, and when it was closed that way with cigarettes in it, whether they were on opposite ends, the same end of the opposite sides, however you want to put them in there, the case seemed to hold a little bit tighter when it was occupied. You can see there the FSK on the Adonis and the SK on the Master Case. Again, 
There's plenty of plating loss. Sometimes I believe that is called brassing. But this Adonis, as well as the Master Case, they're both excellent lighters that you can depend on to light your cigarette as long as you keep them fueled, which isn't that hard to do once you get used to using a vintage petrol lighter or any petrol lighter for that matter, even the Zippo. As you begin to use it, you kind of learn how that flame reacts when it's getting low. Sometimes it's sort of an intuitive thing where it's just been about that long and you know that you might as well go ahead and squirt a little bit more fuel in there. But you can see with this Adonis, it doesn't miss a beat. Occasionally, maybe it's uh, you actuate the mechanism and it doesn't actually ignite, but the vast majority of the time it does. As well as like I said, this master case. They're both clean mechanisms were taken apart and reassembled, cleaned of all the junk and gunk that had gathered underneath there. The fuel is there in the side screw on the master case and the flint is accessed from the inside of the case from the screw in there. You can see that there are some spots where it is missing its paint. Other places where the paint is thin. The plating looks pretty good. There are one or two spots where the paint is missing. General where I would say the paint though is it's got the majority of it, it's just got wear to the majority of it as well. There's also the snuffer, which appears to maybe be fastened on there with a screw and not just a rivet. I couldn't see down in there well enough to really tell from that angle. This master case is a wonderful little lighter, and as I jokingly said on the thumbnail for the original video, you can use it to carry around your short smokes or maybe you're the kind of person who doesn't smoke a whole cigarette at a time. It'd be great for you to use to accumulate your half smoked cigarettes so that you could use them and save money at a later time. Save money and look cool while you're carrying these old vintage lighters around. They may be old you may not see folks carrying around things like this every day, but one thing about these two items is they are both fully functional. It may look old, it may have plenty of wear and character, and if the lighter could tell stories, we'd all be in trouble. But the coolest thing of all is that they both still function. Especially if you know someone whose name fits these initials, then these items would really be a great Christmas gift. Especially for someone who intends to use these sort of things, this would kind of be a double-barreled gift that keeps on giving. Until next time.